Hey guys, it's Josh here and welcome back to another video here on the channel today. So this video is coming to you guys on the 27th, hopefully. This is the 24th actually today it is. Um, so I'm doing this in advance. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed your Christmas. Um, I just wanted to talk about um, you know the kind of things that we do at Christmas, such as going to Christmas markets. Yes, that's right. I live in Birmingham area, so in the United Kingdom, we go crazy for Christmas markets these days. And one of the main ones that we go to is right in Birmingham. But I wanted to stretch the horizons. I just wanted to see what other Christmas markets we have in Britain. So here we go, let's get started. So of course, coming in at the first one, um, I was gonna say number one then, that made no sense. We're gonna be looking obviously at Birmingham with the Burma, but the Birmingham, I can't even say my own city's name now, what's going on? Uh, the German Christmas market. So every year between the 13th of November and the 22nd of, Dece uh, of December, yeah? Birmingham's festival season, well, festive season gets started with the Christmas light switched on ceremony, followed by the launch of the German market. So basically, we are uh, it's a it's a neighbouring Christmas. Uh, it's got a it's got a neighbouring Christmas craft market, which obviously is the British part, which opens two days later. And uh, it's basically around Victoria Street, New Street, Cent um, Century Street Square, and Chamberlain Square. So I have been through all these on the vlogs, as you probably have seen. Um, it's really, really beautiful it is, um, it's very authentic it is, you got, we've also got Heart FM radio station, like, um, basically got like loads of carol singers and stuff up on the stage, you got all your German beers, all your German ciders, all your, everything that's German, it's brilliant, um, so you got your but 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 I can't even say, I can't even say that word, and I took German for like three years. So you get the idea basically, Birmingham really is a staple of Christmas markets because it's got that beautiful German touch with hot chocolates, tasting beauty, so you've got all that sweet, awesome sweets as well. You've also got loads of types of jewellery, you've got china, you've got loads of things, really nice stuff. Okay, moving on to number two, we've got the Belfast Christmas Continental Market. Now. Here's a disclaimer, I haven't been to any of the other markets around the world. Um, um, I haven't been to any of them pretty much around the UK. So I haven't actually been to the beautiful Winter Wonderland in London yet, which we haven't got to right yet. But I, 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 I am going to challenge myself to do that in 2016. Not one of my resolutions, because obviously I'll be a separate video, but it's not going to be a resolution, but you get the point. So yeah, in the City Hall Gardens between the 15th of November and the 21st of December, Belfast guarantees a real Irish welcome for all these visitors to culinary delights, two bars and enough stalls to satisfy all your festive needs. So it's it's even got opening times and everything on here. Does, it, does Birmingham one have opening times as well? No, it just says it's open throughout the day basically. So you've got all that beautiful, um, you know, kind of surroundings. You've got the, the really welcoming festive Irish touch as well. So it really adds to the to the magic that is, you know, Belfast. Um, it's one of my places I'd like to go in the future, Belfast, because obviously it's the closest you can get to Ireland and still be Irish and still enjoy the qualities of Irish, um, you know, festivities and obviously, um, you know, culture. So like chugging down some guineas or something, I don't know, getting one of those brilliant Irish beers in me, in me a beer there. Okay, moving on, we're going to move on to the Manchester Christmas market. Manchester has a really nice Christmas market every year. Um, and also it does have what you call the element of Germany as well it does it has German I think I think they also call it their Frankfurt market as such um, it's beautiful it is because they've got loads of things going on it's sort of a mini Birmingham kind of one it is and uh, if I was to show you you can see here on the uh, the map probably see there on that map there that's like a kind of a dotted setup of what it looks like in there whoa look at that 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 is goals, that is. That is like win winning like beautiful goals in your centre. So that's what uh, Manchester's cafe um, Cathedral Gardens. Wow. And obviously let's move on to the obviously the cherry on the icing. Um, Birmingham's brilliant, Belfast is brilliant, Manchester's brilliant, but we can't deny how brilliant London puts when they take on Hyde Park and strip it of all of its normal stuff. And still leave the obviously the basics of Hyde Park, which make it a really good place. And then we bring on Winter Wonderland. It has its own Instagram location, Mark guys. This is serious. So yes, in Hyde Park every year you get to go into this 
enclosed area in Hyde Park, which is a massive square feet area with rides, festive drinks, festive beliefs going on, you know, like loads of kind of old fashioned things going on, like Hells of Skelters, you've got a big Ferris wheel, you've got carousels, you've got everything that makes Christmas beautiful. London literally takes a very nice snapshot of all of the beauties and the festival buttes that you get with Birmingham and with Manchester and with Belfast and it literally just goes right we're gonna turn this into one big massive conglomerate of amazing things and well they do it very well but yeah guys that is it for this video I hope you had a very festive Christmas break um, be sure to smack the like button if you did enjoy the video down below it always helps me out you can also go down in the description and check out my social links and my Twitter, my Instagram that I do photography on, my photography page, uh, that I, um, uh, network I run like with uh, Enthusiast Network, London Enthusiast, and the list goes on of all the other stuff I do. But all the links are dropped below, including my Digital Games channel, which is now renamed. Content probably will be very staggered on there for a little while. I don't think I've got any new videos on there coming soon. But uh, yeah, be sure to stick here on the channel for more videos coming in the next few weeks. I did promise you I would not upload again until next week, which is, well actually it's probably about another day or so until you get this next few videos, because uh, I promise I wouldn't probably upload until near the new year again. But there we go, what can I say? Anyway guys, I'll see you guys in the next video I do. Peace.